As hunters, we rely on our gear to help us get the job done. From start to harvest, each piece of equipment we acquire plays a role in the hunt. Everyone's journey in gathering these items is unique. From hand-me-downs to newly purchased, we all seek to find the perfect fit in our arsenal that takes us to the top. Hey guys, I'm Steven. I am Jake. Welcome to another gear review episode. We are going to feature some of the new product release from Scree Gear. Uh, Scree Gear is a great company. Um, they specialize in the extreme hunting gear, basically layering systems, merino wool, um, extreme weather, late season, cold insulation, you name it. They Body, do all that stuff. Anything you can think of and above. Yep, <laughs> and their prices are definitely a lot more affordable than some of the top name brands that are out there. Um, so I think they've got a killer pattern on top of just a, a good product. Their pattern is just unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of cover some of the things that we've got. Um, so we are Arizona centric hunters, but <laughs> they cover all the different niches across the country. So Western hunting is a big thing that they're into, but they also do a lot of whitetail White stuff tails, as well. Yeah, turkeys, if you're early season, probably, I'm sure. Yeah, I think they have a scree turkey call. They used to. They did, <laughs> yeah. Check um, it out, they might have it on their website. <laughs> so this is a bib. Um, it is, uh, so you got your suspenders right here, right? Um, you've got full length leg zippers. Um, I believe it's got 850 down in it. You've got the YKK zippers. What were you saying a second? You're like, ooh, fuzzies. It's got the fuzzy pockets oh, yeah, right here. in these pockets. <laughs> <laughs> For those cold days. It's got like that little, Sherpa, or I don't know what, but it's yeah. comfy, bro. You put your hand it's in It's almost thing. like wool. Heck yeah. So, um, But yeah, so this is their uh, summit pattern. Yeah, um, that's but nice. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm going to guess probably Ooh. your late season tree stand hunters. Nice or, big old huge pocket right here in your knees, kind of. Yep, it's got the big Hard old cargo. Knee, yeah, your knee's kind of going to be right here. Cargo-like so. pocket, kind of expands a little bit and has some room in there. You could really stuff it I really stuff. dig this, yeah. Probably put some hand warmers in there, keep you nice and toasty. Uh, you got, so you, uh, additional to that, you got a little bit of uh, security down here with a button, it looks like. Yep. So Snap it over the boots. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this. <laughs> uh, this is really nice. Heck yeah. Uh, real durable, I mean, uh, real thick. And thick, too, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, let's so get these open. Definitely something that's gonna, I would see keeping you warm. Got some very, internal very pockets warm. right here. You could probably put some warmers in there too if you wanted to, just to help yeah. with. But yeah, it's got that nice thick, thick down in there. So these are these are great for that late season, uh, super cold days, super cold temperatures. Um, yeah, that's pretty slick. <clears throat> next, they just came out with a women's line. So they now have the women's jacket. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little more cut to a woman's profile, but I mean, this is just their standard hard scrabble jacket, which is a phenomenal all around use jacket. Yeah. Jake and I have worn a ton awesome of hard scrabble. jacket, man. They've got the underarm zip pull. Pit zips, boom, um, like that. Yeah, so ventilate. Uh, yep. You've got, I use these pockets all the time. Yep. Uh, it, it's just. You've, great, got, great. you've so, got your standard pockets right here yeah. in the front. Again, the YKK zippers. Um, they've got this nice material inside here so that it keeps you warm. Um, also, if you're wearing a tree harness, your tree stand hunting, boom, there you go, right there. Pocket inside here as well, little mesh pocket inside, put something in there, storage, whatever. What's cool about this hoodie too is it actually has like a little built-in, almost like a flap, like a visor flap. Yes. Um, so when you're wearing maybe a hat or something, it mm -hmm. kind of molds right to that hat too, but it, yeah. it really works and deflects all that rain down so it keeps it in front of your face, not it just does. dripping right down on you. Absolutely. So. And then additionally too, um, it's got the Velcro system right here on the end of the cuff basically so that you can go ahead and notch those down if you want, keep the cold. Once out. again, it's a proven product that they've had Hard scrabble, they're just making it into a uh, yep. woman's line. Heck so. yeah. Boom, there we go, there's another one. Um, to go along with your <laughs> bib, this is the Guardian jacket. Again, another late Dude. season, <laughs> ultra tank, thick. Man. Yeah, ultra thick, it's got interior pockets. It's the same basically material inside as the bib. You got your almost wool-like. Do you uh, know what down this is? 
I don't. I can find out. Okay. Probably, I'm going to guess that was 850, so I'm going to guess gonna something guess pretty close. Yeah. Um, again, you can actually pull this and tighten the hood down if you wanted to. On this system, it's got boom, your tree stand. Or your, I'm sorry, your tree harness. <laughs> well, it's for a your tree stand. Yeah, your harness for your tree stand. Uh, outlet right there. Interior pockets right here. You yeah, can also awesome. cinch down the waist coat or the, the bottom of the right. coat there. To tighten up to your um, waistline. waistline. Yeah. Big YKK zippers. Ooh, pockets that. on the front. That's pretty dope, man. That's pretty cool. In case you need a <laughs> on your binos when or something. It's a little foggy. Yeah. Because I'm sure this is for when it's cold. So. Yep. Uh, <laughs> a little foggy in your, in your knockers. Yep. A little button. Oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> fuzzy in your A head. little button right here on the front pouch, or front pocket, and then again, that same fuzzy material right there to keep your hands nice and toasty. I wish it got that cold here in Arizona so I could rock <laughs> this. This is slick, man. Yep. So, again, another great late season awesome jacket. jacket. Heavy, heavy. Uh, of course, you got your water resistance, all that stuff. Um, Ooh, what do we got here? Okay. I like these solids, man. Yes, this is what I'm really excited about. Solid man. colors that they just released. So these just came out um, at the time of this recording, probably the last week, week and a half. Uh, they got earth brown and olive green. So these are their new puppy jackets. Dude, I'm, I'm a big fan of solids. I love solid yeah. colors. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. So show them the bottom here. Oh, it's written on boom. there. There you go. Boom. Scree. It's the Ptarmigan Super Down Jacket. Um, actually, I think they do have these already in the Summit. And How down? Some, down. <laughs> but uh, these are the new uh, uh, solid colors. Check that out, man. I mean, for a down jacket, yeah. this is going to be super warm. And they're warm. so light. Uh, super light. Yeah, I don't know exactly how heavy in ounces, but yep. um, very compactable. I mean, this is the size of an Nalgene almost. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking that with Even me lighter. on my dad's late rifle hunt in November. For what I've been told is a lot of people will wear this, uh, maybe even under a raincoat, um, sure. whatever, but uh, it's a big insulation piece. Yep. Um, so you, you got your hood cinch, same heavy duty zippers. You got a front pocket right here on the chest. Yeah. You also have, of course, your standard hand pockets right here as well. Um, Man, this is gonna be, this would also maybe double up as a great windbreaker because it's that windbreaker material. Well, um, that's what I've heard with, uh, maybe it, it might be a windbreaker, but I've heard with the raincoats, they'll run over mm, this yeah. to help with that wind. Sure. So, so again, this is the uh, or the earth brown. Um, this is the olive green, same exact as this, just this color. So yeah. pick and choose which one you want or what you color. like. Um, and then we're gonna go into their standard. This is like their bread and butter. Uh, I think every hunter should have a pair of these if they're getting into scree gear, scree gear product. It's their hard scrabble series. Hard scrabble pants, hard scrabble jacket. Um, Jake and I have had these already for a couple of years now. Hard scrabble uh, stuff, But yeah. we have it in the summit pattern. This pattern is phenomenal. Yep. But having some solid colors would be extremely sick too. So uh, this is your hard scrabble jacket. It's got some of that soft material inside of it, just like the women's. Again, that little bit of that bill right there. I, I dig that a lot. Yeah. So um, again, another uh, pocket or uh, outlet here for your harness for your tree stand harness. Um, it's got some storage here, I think, on this Sleep side. Liner. Yep. Um, yeah, some pockets inside. This you can one cinch is the waist as well. From the outside comes in. Um, you got a pocket on your sleeve right here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're elk hunting or whatever, you could throw it in there. Put you your throw reeds. it up here. Yep. Uh, another arm zip thing, ventilation. The pit your... zips are awesome. That's been a yeah, big thing. That's like... the biggest thing when you're hiking and it gets so warm. Yep, but you uh, still want to have a jacket on or something, or you just want a temperature control, open those pit zips up, and man, it helps flow in and out of there real nice. It does. Same thing for the cuff cinch right here as well. You can taper that down if you want to. Um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say, really, about yeah. that. I've I mean, worn these in in uh, pouring down rain, and yeah, you might get a little wet, but it does a great job at reflecting water too. So, hold these up to comparison to see different colors. Yep, awesome. It's awesome. Got the earth brown and then the olive green. Yeah. So Sweet. two super cool colors. Um, we'll jump into these because we're super familiar with these pants. This is the hard scrabble pant. Um, what really sold me on Scree first was, like we said, the ability to temperature control. So you have the waist right here. I'm sorry, uh, the the thigh, thigh vents. 
So okay. you open these bad boys up right here and it's just mesh straight through. Yeah. So on a hot day when you're walking around and you want to control a little bit, you just open both of those up. You get nice, good airflow through there and cool yeah. off a little bit. Um, Looks like they did even maybe raise this pocket up a little bit from what it was before. Okay. Uh, you got the front pockets right here. Again, inside is that mesh. So you can even open those up and help ventilate a little bit. Um, I like this, the no slip. I was going to say that too. Yeah. yeah, the no slip waistband. And then they actually have, so if you maybe fluctuate a little bit in waist size or whatever, this kind of uh, molds to, to whatever your waist needs are. Uh, I'm trying to think what else there is. You got a couple back pockets and uh, these are just heavy duty durable, durable pants. I mean, yeah. we have beat, you know, cat claw, all sorts of gnarly pricklers and stuff like that. And it's just, we've done a really good job with it, with how they handle. So it's a very all around season pant. It, it, yep. it, I mean, I've used it somewhat in bear season. Mm -hmm. uh, I've used it obviously during uh, OTC. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use them. <laughs> coming up for an elk hunt to help a buddy so these are just the ultimate all-around pant and uh, definitely worth grabbing a few of these heck yeah absolutely uh, i'm gonna grab me another pair of these solids now there you go yep <laughs> so so again they have the olive green now they have the earth brown uh, make sure to check them out screegear.com uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy that and some just a little, yeah. little peek and decide what they just released so get some while you can <laughs> have a good one guys we'll see you in the next episode